Hello everyone. So today we'll be dealing with the second part of unit two, in which we'll be learning about risk and uncertainty in capital budgeting. So you have totally six methods in it. So every day we'll be taking up one each, so that it will be convenient for all of you to understand. So taking one of the examples, let us understand what is this method about. Now what do you mean by risk adjusted rate? Now this is nothing but when an investor is making one of the investment which is risky. So along with calculation of the present value, we will also be adding up a premium amount or a premium discount rate while calculating so that we are on a safer side. For instance, 10% is the value at which 10% discount rate is the value at which we are calculating our NPV. So if you add up two more percentages as a risk factor, it will be beneficial, which means that the investor himself is lowering his returns with respect to your risk, right? So what are the examples? Examples can be your real estate. Whenever you are investing into real estate, can you really predict it? No, you cannot predict it, right? Similarly, we'll be seeing one of the examples. Now here you have. The Beta Limited is considering to purchase a new machinery with two alternatives, machine A and machine B, each costing rupees one lakh. The respective cash flows are as follows. Now, what is the investment? Investment is one lakh rupee, and you have two machineries. So, the investor has to make a choice between these two. For both of them, the investment amount is one lakh rupee. Here, an additional information is given. The company has target return on capital of ten percent. Risk premium are two percent and eight percent respectively. Which machine should be preferred? Now I would like to explain this. See in depth if you see the company has target return on capital of ten percent. That means for both of them we will be calculating NPV at ten percent with a risk premium of two percent and eight percent. So for machine A ten plus two that is two percent is your premium and For machine B, it is ten plus eight, that is at eighteen percent, right? Now it is a similar way how you do your NPV by multiplying the discounting factor over here. First we'll do it for machine A, and then we will do it for machine B similarly, right? So as we have done earlier, we have noted down the cash inflows and then taken discounting factor as I've told you ten, which is already given the cost of capital, the return on capital, plus. Two percent premium. So ten plus two is nothing but two is the risk premium which we are adding up. That is twelve percent. Now how do you get this twelve percent? You already know how to calculate, right? See, for example, it is ten percent. What do you do? Hundred divided by one ten. You get these values again. You keep on multiplying it over and over again. You give it it for each year. Now you can also take the table values which I have given to you, which will also be easy. But here I will just show you how to do it. Hundred divided by one one two is equal to zero point eight two eight nine two nine. Similarly, you can follow likewise. See, hundred divided by one one two. Second year, hundred divided by one one two. Third year, right? You got it for all the four years. Now, how to calculate your present value of cash inflows? That is nothing but multiplying your cash inflows into the discounting factor. You will get your present value of cash inflows. Now, what is your answer? Ninety-four thousand one hundred and twenty-three. What is the investment amount? One lakh rupee. So, what is your return? Five thousand. The amount is five thousand eight hundred and seventy-seven. But is it positive? No, it is negative. That means here it is a negative value. So, returns are negative. So, preferably we will not be selecting this. Machine. Now coming to machine B again, we are taking the in cash inflows given in the problem, and again we will be calculating the present value. Present value added with your risk factors. That is ten percent as given in the question, plus eight percent respectively is given as a risk premium, right? For machine B, so ten percent plus eight percent is how much? Eighteen percent. Again, you can take your table values, or you can also take it as hundred divided by one one. Eight zero point eight four seven again hundred divided by one one eight second year hundred divided by one one eight third year and 
fourth year now when you once write down all discounting factors you can multiply it with your cash inflows and get your npv here if you see the npv is positive in machine b and negative in machine a so which project we will be selecting after considering the present values and also your risk premium it is suggestible that the investor as accepts machine b so guys i hope this topic is clear for you this is a small topic and also it is the topic which is mostly asked as a theory in your exams but until and unless you know what is the reason how do you calculate and what are the steps to calculate the risk factor and why do we calculate it it is really not possible for you to write down the answers itself right so to make sure that you know the steps and to understand the concept well i have taught you one example problem and this will be your homework problem which you people can try out and give me the feedback regarding if you need any suggestions or any other inputs from my side thank you this will be all for today